Business 1047, the 6th of February 2018, updated 1132, the 6th of February 2018, get short URL THE cryptocurrency plunged 20% to a three-month low, having fallen to $5,920 for the first time in several months, according to Bloomberg News. Bitcoin's collapse comes almost two months after it hit a record high of $19,511, and netizens are extremely concerned about the series of major setbacks that the virtual currency has recently faced. Many users have been panicking since they've seen the possible crash picking up speed, with experts saying the Bitcoin bubble is showing signs of bursting. Friend, did you see? Ben, at Coin Reserve, 6 2018. As expected, Bitcoin now crashes below $6,000. Now the $5,000 handle is reached. And the U.S. congressional hearing on crypto scams is still a day away. HODL nuts will hold their melting Bitcoins all the way down to zero while scammers and whales dump and run. New Real Rubini, at New Real, 6 2018. While others try to quell the social media storm, reassuring people that Bitcoin still remains a good investment, if you're freaking out about the stock market or the crypto crash you're doing it wrong Bitcoin is no worse an investment today than yesterday, same with stocks. Investing is a game played over years, not days. Will Chamberlain, at Will Chamberlain, 5 2018. It appears that Ari Paul, co-founder of Blocks Howard Capital, actually predicted Bitcoin's decline below $6,000 in January. I wrote this with BTC near its highs. I wasn't picking an exact level for the low. $6,000 isn't magic. Was an indication of the extreme volatility I expected in both directions. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash logs app 9 coup. Ari Paul, at Ara David Paul, 5 2018. 5 Bitcoin will trade at both $6,000 and $60,000 at some point in 2018. Ari Paul, at Ara David Paul, 14 2018. Bitcoin, which has surged more than 700%, reaching highs of $20,000, was introduced in 2009 as an independent alternative to government backed currencies. Cryptocurrency allows people to pay for services and goods online using virtual coins.